Okay, when you get your package in the mail, this is what it's going to look like the first time. You're going to have a sharps container. You'll take the top out, and you're just going to snap that right on the top. It's a little hard. And then what you can do is you can open and close these when you want to dispose of your sharps. You can also unscrew the needle from the syringe and just put the needle on there and discard the uh, syringe in a regular trash can, which I will show you later. Um, this is your injection of semaglutide. We're going to open this up. And with this, you can pop off the plastic top here. And it's going to put that when you take it off. And then we're going to take one of these larger syringes with the needles. And this is a bacteriostatic water. It's saline. And again, pop off the top. And we're going to open your alcohol prep pads. And these are just little individual prep pads um, with alcohol on them. I can get it open. Alright, I have a little plastic thing tape there, so okay. So we can take one of these, open it, and you just want to wipe off the top anytime you go to withdraw out of the top of these. Just make sure everything's nice and clean. And then you're going to open your syringe back here. You can separate it and open it. And just prime the plunger a couple times. Sometimes it wants to be a little sticky at first. And we're going to reconstitute this with two mLs of water. So on this larger syringe, you'll see the two right there. So you're going to put this in and then it's easiest if you turn it upside down and hold it and you're just going to pull back until it gets to the two. And there we go. So we're going to take that out and then we're going to put it in to the semaglutide. And then you're going to let go of the plunger because the air is going to want to come back out. Take that out. Then at an angle, you can put your cap back on. Twist the needle off. You can discard the syringe and the garbage. And this can go in your sharp container. And then your semaglutide, it's powder in there. So you're going to reconstitute it with the bacteriostatic water and just shake it. It'll dissolve very easily. You'll be able to see the bottom's clear. And once that's done, depending on your dosage, which most people are starting off at 0.25, unless you've been told by the doctor something different. Again, we're going to go ahead and just quick wipe off the top. And now you're going to grab one of your insulin size needles. This is what it looks like. And on this, we are going to draw the 0.25. So we can take the end off of the plunger there. Again, you can prime it real quick because sometimes they stick a little bit. And 0.25 is going to be right there, halfway between the two and the three. If you can see that, I go. So what you're going to do now, this is all, it's all diluted. You're going to put the needle in the top, hold it upside down, and again, pull back on the plunger until you get to the 0.25. And you might need to hold it there for a couple seconds because it's going to fill up slowly. And then just make sure you're right on that 2.5 and then just pull it right out. And then you can, again, if you'd like to, recap the needle here. And then we can get ready for the injection.